Guys, I'm not too Ah, make you know say anything when you do, they must comment it I can't come and see myself Say anything when you Today we've had a long day. Next is by two. We are here by one. You have thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. So we are literally going to run crazy. Cue in the montage. <laughs> We all got found in this room and a goosey. You also the goosey cap. So I'm going to try Ayo's um Okazi soup. That's an Igbo soup. I don't hate it, like like I can't no. totally do this. Um okay now. Oh I'm going to eat. Bye. Independent today, children. So, where I'm currently heading to on Independence when I, like today's a public holiday and I'm supposed to be inside. So, I was walking around with my friend, and then someone came to preach to me. And then they were like, Oh, come for this stuff that's happening at the amphitheater. And I've seen the guy that came to preach to me actually, like, because he's in my church and he preaches in my church every now and then. So, I was like, And, I've, and I like his preaching. So, I'm like, You know what? I'm gonna go because I've been wanting to take my spiritual life more seriously so that's where we're heading to and then this building here is the new hostel um i think it's sapphire six and a half hours later we're going to peel Ozyama's face mask damn it was supposed to be thicker <laughs> I'm scared that I'll injure her. I'm going to go off camera to do this. Be back. Hello, you guys. Say hi to this huge teddy. She or he is not my teddy, but say hi. I've been in a funk of recently, and I just had like a random energy. Random energy, um, energy outburst, energy. I don't know, but now I have energy and I'm so excited. And I like to come on here when I have it. Oh, yo, look at this shirt. Yes, so basically, it just fits loose. Like, look at this, but I don't, I'm gonna adjust this now. Am I? But like, it would look so much better. I can't just myself. And then this attachment looks like it's, it shouldn't be part of the shirt, but like it is. Like that's how the shirt is. I also got dark creams and guys with this, like a whole bunch, because this is like an occasion for me. Just for the vlog and just for a montage, we're gonna have some dark cream. Okay, 
okay so yeah oh you guys i have an assignment oh let me pack this up first let me pack this kit first so my assignment i have like um a pdf of like 15 pages and i'm supposed to summarize and analyze it and then type on my laptop say hi to um monica nightingale yes my laptop has a name and your laptop should have a name too you need to get on that so you know what time it is is montage time <laughs> That the montage is over i need to go but you all know i'll be back like i'm definitely going to be back i know i said i was going to be but ah, let's talk i should place my studies okay since okay. you guys know i should place my studies so two moments later so while i was doing my assignment and being a responsible person and being a good kid and hurrying trying to get through this so i can come and talk to you guys we ran into a problem. My system is... <laughs> See what she's doing. Like, I literally will power it off. Powering off. Okay. Powered off. Close this bad boy. Open this bad boy. Turn it on again. Like, please work. I have a class by 2. This thing is due tomorrow. 7 a.m. I don't have time for this. Preparing autumn. I'm actually like looking. I'm about to have anxiety, but I need to remember what does the word say. So that my Hello. 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 my Bible study notes. Like I don't know. I feel like this is almost not being for real, but I'm I'm dead as serious. Like, but I need to take myself back to the word Philippians four verses six. Let's get into some preaching. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. But I thank Him that I have suffered with this place. And I'm trying to get worried in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray. An encouragement, guys. When you want to worry about something, instead, pray. I was going to meet my friend to ask her for her own laptop to see if she has like word on it so that I can type on it but I entered her room and nobody was there should I enter and violate? yeah we're going to violate <gasps> oh Monica where are you? you're not here you're not here oh you're not here I am going since you're not here. Okay. Okay. You guys violated my friend's room. That's too bad. But now I have to think about like other options. I'm going to call people because this thing is serious. So. Yeah. Three days later. Good morning today. Praise is here. And we're going okay, to be wait, recording for her uh, podcast. This is like crazy. Hey guys, the whole thing did it. You guys are wondering whose voice that is, right? I know. Well, that's Moshika's voice. So I have a friend on my pod today, and she is a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, look at my purse. Ain't it cute? I wasn't vlogging when I got it, but I am currently Bible studying and I've come across something that brings me peace. And I don't know if I'm going to actually include this in the vlog, but I hope it can bring you peace too. But I'm reading First Corinthians and don't mind the background going sound. 
first Corinthians 7 29. But let me say this, dear brothers and sisters, the time that remains is very short. So from now on, those with wives should not focus only on their marriage. Now it's not just about married life now. It's like those who weep or who rejoice or who buy things should not be absorbed by their weeping or their joy or their possessions. Those who use things of this world should not become attached to them. For this world as we know it will soon pass away. I want you to be free from the concern from the concerns of this life. An unmarried man can spend his time doing the Lord's work and thinking of how to please him. But a married man has to think about his earthly responsibilities and how to please his wife. His interests are divided. So essentially, the reason why I point this out is because I know that there's things that I've been attached to, absorbed with, concerned with. And in this part where I'm reading, he's essentially talking about marriage and if you want to get married, like fine, get married if you're born with loss and if you think that you like you're not born with loss, you don't feel the need to get married, like then you should like also do that. Um but like at the end of the day what matters like what it's all centered around is the fact that we are not supposed to get distracted by all the things of this world. You mentioned the early worries and struggles like you're going to have them but don't be fooled. In the end of the day, all that matters is Jesus. First Corinthians is thirty six. But for us, there is only one God, the Father, by whom all things were created and for whom we live. And there is one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all, all things were created and through whom we live. Like, that's what matters. All these other things that have you worried, that have you not happy, that have you having anxiety, that have you just not being comfortable and everything. Be careful to not get too distracted by the words of this world because at the end of it all, you see that all that ever mattered was him. That's why we were created. And it brings me so much peace because I've been struggling with like, what am I doing with my life? What's the next step for me? At the end of the day, all these things that are heavy on your heart, that they come to nothing. I hope somebody that needs to hear this finds it. It comes to nothing. It's going to be like that time when you were younger and you did something and you were so scared that your parents were going to beat you or something. You, you were so scared that it was over for you and you look back now and you're like, <laughs> like that's what it comes to like. So 